Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. This is uh, a request by uh, I, Gundam Nuggers. He wanted me to tell uh, what account he uses it on. Uh, my only problem with his paint scheme, which is, this is his personal paint scheme, uh, is the green. The green is the only part problem I have with it. And uh, he wanted to call it the Delta, uh, Delta Tower 7 colors. So... Uh, the Galgoog, this is the early production type, which is a.k.a. Char's, uh, the S-type Galgoog. And he wanted me in his personal colors, and I'm like, you know what? He he tr gave me the choice between the Galgoog or the Mark II, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't ran the Galgoog in a while, especially the... Damn, I, last time I think about it, I don't remember the last time I honestly used the Commander Galgoog. I, I normally use the uh, mass production one or the... Uh, or the ground type. I haven't used this one in for in ages. Now that I think about it, so I'm kind of rusty at it. So, uh, oof. Uh, yeah, I'm hella rusty at this mobile suit, and uh, yeah, so it's gonna take me a little while. I I think I go even. I don't really do that good, but I get three and three, and I get s top assistant, top damage, fucking hiccups. And so, uh, yeah, so I kept it. I think it, I did relatively well as a counter sniper. That's what I tend to use my Gelgoogs for when I'm using the beam rifle, is I tend to counter snipe because it does it really... Okay, what crock of shit type of hit was that? That okay, And then he's shooting me. Well, there's no one right there, and I'm getting shot at. Okay, what is this crock of shit? But uh, this is a very powerful suit, and it becomes ridiculously tanky uh the higher level it gets and it becomes really stupid tanky uh later on well i had a good run he's hitting my shield but okay i was still taking damage yeah if that was anyone else like if i was that if i was that light armor shooting my vulcans at him i would have hit the shield so uh yeah no this is a fun it's like it's a big meaty target but it's a big meaty target that has a crap ton of health and it's really hard to take down so that's the plus side um the early production type can take the super or the dom's bazooka the giant bazooka or the super bazooka the thing has had like so many different names since its introduction uh i always enjoyed the super bazooka term for it because it's kind of what it is compared to the Z uh, zaka bazooka but if you really want to bring in like super bazooka the rakuten is where it's at uh, then you've all, uh, I think that's the only two weapons it can snag is this, uh, the beam rifle and the, uh, uh, Dom Bazooka. Uh, it's also got the MMP-80 as a sub-weapon, which is probably one of the best fucking sub-weapons in the game. Any, like, oh, if more Xeon suits could take this as a sub-weapon, you would see a lot more, uh, Xeon suits on the field. And uh, it's probably one of my favorite things about this variant of the Gelgoog is its sub-weapons. Now, the reason I like to use the early, I mean, the mass production version of the Gelgoog is for the fact that it has a extremely high, f or at the time of its introduction, an extremely high frying correction. And uh, you can really do a lot of work with the beam rifle on that suit. Uh, the only problem is the bazooka it take is, takes is that really ugly uh, bullpup designed bazooka which is fucking ugly man hate that thing uh i liked the way it was used in uh sankey where it could rapid fire bazooka shots but at like a scatter so it kind of like puke rounds everywhere and it did some uh decent damage for what it did uh but otherwise yeah no it's a it's still a good contender it's just a thick target and, uh, otherwise, I just don't really know what else to say about the mass production, I mean, the early production type. I haven't used this in a while. And, uh, I kind of want to start using it. I think I have the level, only the one and two. I might have the level three. I kind of wanted to buy the level, uh, the higher level ones that come up to, like, 550 cost. But I really didn't want to spend the recycle tickets on them because, you know, other things. <laughs> That uh, tickle my pickle. Really hoping to get my hands on the Gelgu can, uh, the Gun Cannon Two, to be honest, because the Gun Cannon Two is where it's at. Like I love my Gun Cannon Two, and I always have a good match in it, and I always do a crap ton ton of damage in it. 
So I'm really hoping to get my uh, hands on a higher level. I've only got the level one still, and it really upsets me, to be honest. Uh, now, would I change anything about this suit in game? No, it, it's it's solid. It could run a little bit quicker. I feel like it's a little bit slow for a uh, commander unit. That was a fantastic grenade toss. Uh, yeah, move up. I have no stunning weapons. So, uh, oh, I'm getting hosed because I'm a thickness. Oh, boy. I, l I love being shot through buildings. That's one of my favorite things. Oh, I love it. Uh, apparently, that that uh, guy from yesterday's video in the Zuda, just so you guys know, he's apparently a very toxic player. Apparently, he's well-known in the community, which I didn't know because that was my first time running into him. Um, apparently... That's not the only time he's done this, and he will often blame people on his team or the enemy team for the way things go. So make sure you just you guys do him the courtesy and just kick him out of the your guys's room anytime you guys see him if he's gonna uh, be like that, because he's like one of those worst type of players where he just sits out of the room and then you know blames everybody for not getting carried. Because I had like several people comment and I did a little bit of research and apparently he's on the uh, he's on the GBO police boards too because he does that type of shit. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Zero ran into this man um, yes, uh, a couple days, uh, a couple weeks ago or months ago. If I'm not mistaken, he just sat at base and did nothing. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to upload my thoughts on the Mark Three and... Uh, I had a people say, uh, to, uh, I had some people tell me, don't get it, it's trash. Mo I don't know what you guys are talking about. The thing's pretty damn good. <laughs> the Mark III is really decent. Keep at range and use the beam rifle. Like, yeah, the beam rifle doesn't, like, it's only got four shots in the dumb thing. But, you know, when, when your shots do, like, fucking uh, piercing damage right off the bat. And you got those kick-ass fucking beam cannons that take three shots to overheat. It's cooldown takes like it's it's got an insanely cooldown time, so you can if you pace your shots just right, you have unlimited back uh, beam back beams, and then you also have uh, an extremely strong like it has extremely low melee. Well, it's got slow uh, low melee correction, and it only has one hit. But if you tag someone in melee, that beam saber is gonna do some massive work. Like I was hitting a, I was hitting a, uh, other generals for. 2400 damage and the beam like the way my build is i was hitting a, a hyakushiki for uh 2200 damage that's good against a shiki that's really good against a shiki considering they they negate 40 percent of all beam damage i was hitting that motherfucker a hard so yeah no the you mark three don't don't let people say it's tell you it's shit it's good it's a range general and it pulls its weight so anywho Nuggers, I hope you enjoyed your video. Um, like I said, the only part of your color scheme I dislike is the green. But let's look at the uh, Patreons. Uh, we got Brandon Markey, Always Shipper, Asriel, Kaden Maki, Casey, Cybaster, Dragon Spartan 90, Gundam Nuggers, Even Gaunt 8863, Jeff Dunn, JJ, Clav, Proof, Maverick, uh, Momica, Ninja Guy 12, Peter, Strike, Tyler, Spud, Omni, uh, on, uh, Oni Soul, Savage. There we go, fuck. Uh, suit of Souls, Trelos, and Joseph D. I hope you guys have a good day, and I shall uh, talk to you guys later.